Will Bitcoin drop below 50k? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel on this beautiful Monday morning here from Spain, guys. In today's video, I have some really important news about the United States and one of the cryptocurrencies I really don't like. Yes, also looking into the charts, what is happening to Bitcoin, are we going to drop below 50k? And yes, an inspirational quote at the end, let's quickly jump into the news first, because I need to get this out of the system. The news, guys, is that when you touch Ripple, you go cripple. I've been repeatedly saying this in the last couple of years, guys. Ripple is, for me, a shitcoin. It's not even a cryptocurrency. And yes, there is space for a lot of cryptocurrencies in this industry for all those that want to comment that. But this one just doesn't belong here. Why not? Now, one of the co-founders of Ripple is supporting the anti-crypto, the anti-Bitcoin, Harris. He just came out and said, I'm going to support Harris. Now, that is exactly why that cryptocurrency with an XRP and the company behind it, Ripple, has not anything to do with this Bitcoin freedom revolution. That currency is just supporting the current central banks and the current governments into creating new central banks digital currencies built on the complete Ripple network or something or using Ripple for all the transactions so they have even more control on people like you and me. That is why I always said, eh, don't touch Ripple, you will go cripple. And now the proof is there. Even one of the co-founders still has that retarded cheap mentality that he's supporting Harris. Harris who was already the vice president now for the last years. What did she do in those last years as a vice president? She fucked up America, open border policy, etc. There was not one thing that that woman did good or well for the United States and still people are voting for that? I don't believe it. I believe that Trump is way ahead, like with 80% against 20%, maybe even 90 against 10%, because Trump is the one that will probably save America, but also save all of the world. Maybe then finally the wars will stop. Maybe finally then Bitcoin will be integrated in the United States of America, etc. Trump is our guy when it comes to freedom of speech, when it comes to adoption of Bitcoin, when it comes to saving America and making America great again. That is Trump. Kamala Harris is another four years of control, regulations, shit showing, wars, pandemics, etc. And now that Ripple guy is endorsing Kamala Harris, that is why I hate that currency. Fuck XRP, fuck Ripple, the company behind it, fuck all of those, and fuck Chris Larson for being such a stupid idiot supporting Kamala Harris and creating a currency to support the banks again and not the people. I would say buy Bitcoin instead of that shitcoin because through buying Bitcoin you're supporting the freedom revolution in any kind of way. If it is freedom of speech, freedom of spending, freedom of store of value, whatever you call it, the gold of the 21st century is Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the king. That is the one you should be adding to your portfolio not those currencies that are supporting the current corrupt system. That is the mindset behind XRP. Please stop touching it. Don't touch Ripple because you will go cripple. And as you know, real Bitcoiners like Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss, the Winklevoss twins we call them, they are real hardcore Bitcoiners. They supported more than a million dollars to the Trump campaign. And why? Because they are real Bitcoin lovers. They are real people that understand the real fundamentals of Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency that it needs to be. They understand the fundamentals of freedom. They understand the fundamentals of economy. They understand the fundamentals of a new monetary policy built on the Bitcoin blockchain that can change the world forever. That is what real Bitcoiners do. So the Winklevoss wins, they are showing the right path. They are voting for Trump because they understand what freedom means to us. Why Bitcoin start to exist at all. So please, if you're an United States person, you know, I am not from the United States, but I do see the videos. I do see the presentations. I do see the fake shows when it comes to audience, you know, saying hello when Kamala comes from the airplane. It's like all fake. Don't vote for fake. I see her fake accent. I see her fake identity. She doesn't even know if she's Indian or Afro-American. She doesn't even know. 
then she wants to be that, then she wants to be that. She can't be a president, guys. She just can't. I am not from the United States, guys, but I do have an opinion. I do see all of the discussions. And my vote would definitely be for Trump, for freedom and for a beautiful United States, not like that enslaved society that she and Biden want you to live in and the whole cartel behind that, guys. So if you want to vote for Bitcoin, you vote for Trump. Now let's take a look at the charts, guys, because it was again a beautiful, volatile weekend, a nice weekend to trade. I did some trades. I also guided the VIPs through that trade. Now let's quickly jump into the charts to see how the week closed, how this beautiful Monday starting and what we will expect for this week in Bitcoin. Let's jump into the charts. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this one hour chart. On this one hour chart, we can see that there was a few trades this weekend that you could have taken. The buy signal over here, short signal over there, again a buy signal, again a short, again a buy, and again a sell signal. So uh, I took one of those trades. Uh, I will show the result in screen over here now, guys. So you can see there was a nice profit and that was a good trade for me because I traded with the big amounts that led into some really nice profits, guys. Now, um, short term, beautiful, but the more important things are the long term. The long term, for example, five day chart, eh, zooming out a little bit, I told you we need to find support in that midline. This candle, which now is red, is gonna close in two days and 17 hours. So this candle in two days and 17 hours needs to close above that midline level of 54,660. If we don't close above this, if we stay this bearish, we will be drawn towards the bottom of this channel, which is around 47,600 US dollar guys, but probably going up a little bit. So around 47,900 or 800 US dollar, something like that. But if we don't find support on this midline, we will drop down, in my opinion, to this bottom area so you will be able to buy Bitcoin even below um, 50K. I just really hope we keep support on this midline so we close about 55K or something so that we see this midline of support and we can try to fight again to the top line around 62K and break it again to get as quick as possible out of this Gaussian channel. It's just very, very important. The negative part though is that we are just in September. And September, you will see on the next chart what normally happened in September. In September, normally, guys, we can see that we are almost always bearish. On average, we had like minus 5% or something. So it is not the best month out there, guys. I'm going to put my face somewhere here. It doesn't really matter. Those three months at the moment. But here, September, you can see that September is always a red month. Just check it over here. This is September often it was red, an average minus 5%. Now we can look also at the years of the halving. The years of the halving is 2016. Hmm, September was positive. Another year of the halving was 2020. Hmm, September was negative. So even that doesn't make a difference. We are now in the halving year, 2024. At the moment, it's minus 8%. So for now, September is just doing what it normally does. Now, September is always bearish. Now let's take a look at October, November, and December. October, November, and December, on average, always bullish. Just check it. 22% on average bullish, October. 46 on average bullish, November. 5% bullish in December. Now look at the halving years. 2016 over there, 14%, 5%. And 30%. So the halving year was a very bullish year. Now, the next one is the bull market year was even more bullish, 2017. Then we take a look at the halving year in 2020. It's over here, 27, 42, 46%. And then we look at the bull market year over there. It's only 40% October. And you know, these November and December were those dip months. So yes, these halving years are always very bullish in October, November, December. So be prepared for a very bullish October, November and December. Don't freak out, zoom out, stop crying, start buying. Now, then I have another chart guys and it is this one. This chart shows you exactly what it means to zoom out in Bitcoin because this chart is showing you here where we are. We are now there. 
around day 660, somewhere in that area, guys. And if you now look back at the previous cycles, so that orange line, that's a 2021 cycle, and that yellowish line, that's a 2017 cycle, look what happened. The recovery took two years in total, that's that dollar line, and from that moment, we went up massively. And that's around day 740-ish, there. We are now at 660-ish, there. It can take another 80 days of slowly upward movement before we go massively upwards. And 80 days is almost like three months of slow upward movements. Septemberish, Octoberish, Novemberish, Decemberish, slow upward movement before next year we will see that massive, massive bull market. And also next year we will see a couple of dips, just like we saw a dip here, huge dip in the yellow line, just like we saw a dip in the orange line, just like we saw a run and a dip here, 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 many dips happened, guys. These dips are part of the bull market. This year was volatile, and we are slowly will be grinding up, but next year will be even more volatile, maybe even more dips of 30%, while going up higher and higher and higher to a new bull market top in the end of 2025. So it's, very, um, so it's very important that you realize that we are exactly here in this last part of that recovery of two years slowly grinding up before we go into that last very steep increase in the Bitcoin price. So please stop crying, start buying. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Yes, short term, beautiful volatility as you saw on those beautiful trades, but long term, guys, long term, we are shaking out the weak hands. That one beautiful chart it exactly shows you where we are at the moment and what is ahead of us. Please start to believe in that chart. Don't listen to all the FUD. Don't listen to all those people telling you, ah, it's a bad economy, it's going to be a crash, it's a worldwide crash, blah, 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 blah. This is all FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt, being created by those that want to be in control of Bitcoin. And who wants to be in control of Bitcoin? These are the huge centralized entities like BlackRock or like governments. They don't want you to become rich. They need you to stay poor because if you are poor, you will listen to them. When you become rich, you stop listening and you start living your life to the fullest. And that is exactly what they don't want. They want you to feel poor, to be poor, so that they will be in control, so that you will be depending on them. The moment you start to become rich, you don't depend on them anymore. You can live your life the way you want to live it without listening to a centralized entity like a bank or a government. Now, and that is what they exactly don't want. So they are shaking out the weekends by creating these dips so that you will sell your precious Bitcoins to them. That is what you exactly should not do. You should keep hodling your Bitcoins and stacking sets during these dips. Every time when we dip, you buy. Stop crying, start buying. If you do this in the long term, your capital will grow tremendously in value. This is how you protect your capital against inflation. Your purchasing power will even grow faster. You will be able to buy more and more and more for that same one Bitcoin instead of less and less and less for the same one dollar. It is simple as that. We are just getting started. This bull run ends in the year of 2025, somewhere in quarter four. This quarter is also going to be a nice quarter. October, November, December is going to be a bullish quarter. But we will see another dip in 2025, January, February probably. And then again, a real bull market top somewhere in the end of 2025. Don't be shaken out. Add as much as possible Bitcoins in this 50 to 60K area. You will be doubling your capital within 12 to 15 months. That is my tip when it comes to Bitcoin. And the inspirational quote for today, guys, is... Optimism is a happiness magnet. Yes, so whenever you stay positive, you attract good things and good people. It attracts happiness. So the moment you're always positive, 
you will attract more happiness around you. You will become more happy and you will attract again more happy people and situations around you. Optimism is a happiness magnet. Just be positive. Just always be positive. Every time see the positive things in life. The glass can be half full or the glass can be half empty. Try to focus more and more on a half full glass. It sounds more positive and it will attract more positivity. It will attract more positive things into your life, also more positive people into your life. Because the positivity that you're vibing out will attract all of that. People love positive people. People don't like negative people because then they think, ah, another bloodsucker, another one that sucks down all my energy. Just think for yourself. Do you want to be surrounded by all those people that take your energy? Or do you want to be surrounded with all those people that give you energy? Probably the second one. If it is the first one, please stop watching this video, go to a doctor. Something is wrong. <laughs> Something is definitely wrong. <laughs> if you, if you want to be surrounded by all negative people, something really, really, really is wrong because that will drive you to vote for Camilla Harris. You don't want to be doing that. So if you want to attract a lot of negative people, go to the doctor directly now. If you already are focusing on attracting a lot of positive people by being positive yourself, something is right. You're doing a good job. You're, <laughs> you're on the right track. Keep moving forward like this. At the end, it will lead to more positive situations, more positive people around you. You will be surrounding you with happiness. And that happiness will lead again to your internal happiness, becoming more happy, becoming even more positive, giving even more positivity vibes to the world. And if we collectively would be doing this, focusing on the positive, not focusing on a divide and conquer by the governments, they want us to fight, don't focus on that negative shit. Start to focus on the positive things of life. That we have multiple cultures in the world. That we all have our own norms and values. And that we should respect it. Treat them positive. Yes, you think different. But we don't need to fight about it. We need to live on this beautiful globe together. And if we are all that little bit more positive And start to vibe more positivity into the world then it will become a very, very happy place. If we keep focusing on all that negative shit, and I know it's difficult not to focus on it because the mass media only shows you negative shit, only shows you wars, only shows you corrupt people, only shows you immigrants crossing the border, only shows you all the negative things that are happening in life. Why? Because the governments, they are using the media to divide and conquer. You need to be the opposite of your friend. You need to be fighting not thinking about a better future, not working at a better future, not enriching yourself so you can build a better future. No, you need to be fighting, divide and conquer. Stop focusing on that negative part. Start to focus on positive vibes. You need to be giving those positive vibes to all the people around you and they will slowly become positive as well, guys. So yes, optimism is a happiness magnet. Stay positive. Attract those positive things and people through being positive yourself. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And let me know what you think about the news, the charts, and of course, also about being positive. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing Monday, an amazing week. And see you tomorrow again. Bam.